everyone, this is Mr. Bernard. Let me sanitize my hands first. Have you sanitized your hands today? Hello again, welcome to lesson 2 of Aboriginal Art. Um, by now, everyone would have uploaded your image that you have found on Google and uploaded it on SLS. For those who have not done it, it's okay. Just remember, you must follow lesson 2 and lesson 3 videos and the PowerPoint very closely in order to know my requirements. Okay, so uh, before we continue, let me introduce you to uh, our guest of honor today. He's none other than Mr. Cosmo. Hey, it's Mr. Cosmo. Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. It is Mr. Cosmo. I am really excited to be here. Mm -hmm. Always do that. Okay, so uh, Cosmo, um, thank you for submitting your project, uh, just like what the others did. But do you know you made a lot of mistakes? You made mistakes, yeah. Mistakes? Mm -hmm. Probably be the first. Do you want to know the mistakes that you made? Okay. That's all? Alright, I'll share that with you, okay? So, um, the first mistake that you made is you submitted the final product and you are not supposed to. You must you are only supposed to upload the Google image on SLS. However, you submitted the whole product and which does not actually meet the full requirements. So, um, and the second mistake that you made was you submitted them uh, through email to me. But you should be submitting on SLS. Were you not listening in class? Huh? Or did you not see the video that I've made with all my heart and time? Um, tell you what, I will give you some tips on how to make your lesson, uh, not your, your art work better. Do you want to know that? You doesn't sound very happy. Why why didn't go in? This is cosmic. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh I'll let you know some of the tips, okay? It's always like that. So when it comes to the original art, there's a lot of variations that you can make. Uh, what are variations? Let's uh, look at some of them over here. For example, uh, for example, when you are doing your dotting, you could let's compare number one and number two. Okay, pictures in the picture in number one shows dot they are very closely dotted against each other. Quite close. Can you see them in a very neat way, though. For picture two, they are pretty far apart from each other. So uh, we could actually adopt any one of them, or even a combination of them, having dot they are very closely dot together or far apart. Another kind of variation would be, I think, uh, uh, dotting them in different sh uh, sides. For example, small dots and big dots. Do you see the differences? Or you can have a combination of both, right? And the last time that I could think of is probably uh, making it look very neat, like Cosmo. Or make it look really mm, random and untidy, like myself. Well, this can be an art as well. However, it must be accompanied by all the other kind of uh, variations. Okay, so let me uh, do a summary again. You could either make the dots very close together, very far apart, or uh, make it look small or big. Or you can make them look neat or random. Or you can have everything in one picture, just like this. This is a sample that I made. So if you look at this picture, let's play a game, okay everyone? Okay, let's play a game. Um, how many of you can identify where can we find dots? They are very closely dotted together. I'll give you three seconds. What's more? Hey, sleeping. Let's try, okay? Mm, small dot. Where is small dot? I found it. Of course, I drew the picture. Have you found it? You're yeah, right. It's actually the light uh, turquoise. A color dot. It's over here. They are very closely dotted next to each other, but yet, leaving a space in between them, the black space is the space I'm talking about, 
and the other pictures. These are the so uh, these are the so uh, dots. They are very closely dotted together. How about dots? They are very far apart. Can you see them? Five seconds. Let's go. And you are right again. They are the yellow dots. Look how far away they are from each other. Right? Maybe this one also. Let's move to number three. How many of you can spot um, small dots? Small dots. Yes, it could be. I heard you. Yes, right. Someone was saying it could be the turquoise dots as well. Yes, very close. Uh, very close. These are dotted things against each other. And it could be this one as well. Right? The next one, big dots or big pictures. It's none other than the circles. Hey, I saw some triangles here. Will triangles um, do in our aboriginal art? The answer is yes. You may adopt other shapes and uh, size of, a, uh, of any form as long as um, they have a spacing between them and, um, and they complement the, the picture on the whole. So you need not only um, present your picture um, with dots, it may look a little bit, you know, that one, yeah. So how about, let's find out the other kind of variation, okay? How about this one? The dots, they are very neatly uh, dotted um, against each other. Let's see. Uh, mm, I think, if you ask me, I think it would be everything. Probably this area, you see? There's a pattern. Triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. So in the broad art, we talk a lot, a lot about having patterns. So um, other than having a, a picture, for example, the bird and the flower here, you can also talk about the patterns that uh, keep on repeating themselves. Okay, so let's talk about the random, randomness, messiness. Where's the messiness? It's everywhere. This could be the randomness, and this could be the randomness. Look at the dots here. They are not dotted according to uh, any of the, the one mentioned above, but it's pretty random. However, I think it looks pretty good at, on the whole as a picture. And also at the end of the day, um, I have actually um, added um, some solid colors. Well, where are the solid colors? These are the solid colors, the flower. I did not dot them. I merely uh, painted them with solid colors, full solid. Uh, you could also do that, for example, if you are painting a, a kangaroo. You could choose to paint a kangaroo in solid colors without dots. And the surrounding, the background, you can um, decorate it with uh, patterns of uh, dots. So, um, uh, as of here, I have um, gone through most of uh, the variations that you could have done for your picture. So, I hope um, the next assignment that you submit to me will be up to requirements, okay? Please listen to me and watch my video. Support, support, support. Okay, so Cosmo, do you understand what I'm saying so far? Hey, talking to you. So, uh, I will, okay, I, 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 will, I will see you guys soon, okay? Okay, bye. Hey, why are you always talking so slow and then always making so funny expressions? Huh? Hey, hey, talk to me, eh? Hey. And also, previously, I mentioned that uh, we need to have a black background for our Aboriginal art. Um, for example, we need to paint our household item black before we can do the dottings and design. Um, I changed my mind. I, I think it'd be easier for everyone uh, to actually uh, uh, have the background painted in dark colors. Uh, so there's more choices. And also for those who really, 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 really uh, cannot find dark colors, I would allow you to have white as the uh, background and you can continue your drawing on that. Um, and also, uh, during this period, I understand how difficult it is for us to get hold of some of the materials, for example, acrylic paint. So, um, I would also allow uh, people to paint using markers, uh, provided uh, it will go up, uh, it's able to um, stick on the material that you have chosen. Um, having said that, Mr. Bird would really still suggest that you have a black or dark color background and use acrylic paint for your design. Uh, uh, and also, uh, as mentioned earlier, um, paper plates in my lesson plans, uh, paper plates and plastic bags are allowed 
so you can actually draw on them if you cannot find anything all right so um last but not least i would need to remind you guys to really really follow what is on uh, the video and the powerpoint slides do not skip them don't skip them don't skip them okay don't skip them do you understand enough first more huh hello there you go again sleep are you sleeping hey come on He's really sleeping. Oh my gosh. Are you guys sleeping also? What? Did you even hear what I'm saying? Hey, what's more? Hey. Okay, forget about him. Okay, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Right? Good luck. Bye bye.